Hello guys and welcome to another video. In our GIF WooCommerce Ajax product filter plugin, there are two options that allow you to configure the filtering options in an advanced way. One concerns the multiple selection, and this allows the user to select multiple options at the same time. The other one is called adaptive filtering, and this one allows you to define whether or not to show filtering options for which no results are available. I know, I know, it does sound complicated, but believe me, it's not. Stay with me until the end of the video and you will see for yourself. I will show you how both options work so you can decide which configuration works best for your store. But before we start, please make sure you hit the like button below this video, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Now, let's see how it works. Here we are inside the sandbox I use for the Ajax product filter videos. From here, let's go over to our dashboard, find G, and click on Ajax product filter. From here, I want to show you the options inside the filters within Women Preset. I open it, and here, as you can see, we already have the filters we saw in the demo. I will open filter by color, and now I look for the option I want to show you today. Almost all the way down, right here. Allow multiple selection. When this option is enabled, like in this case, the user can select multiple color swatches at the same time. Otherwise, he can only select one color at a time. I will deactivate the option to show you what happens. Now I save filter and save preset. Here, if I select any color filter, like for example, blue, we will see all the products with the blue in them. But if I select another, like red, you can see how immediately the blue option is removed. And now I can only see the products with the red attribute. Let's go back to the filter and activate the option to see the difference. Here we are again. Once I enable it, you can see another option appears below. Multi-select relation with two alternatives. The first and meaning. Results need to match all selected terms at the same time and or. Results need to match at least one of the selected terms. Don't worry, it is easier than it sounds. The first one means if the user selects two colors at the same time, the result will show only the products that meet both color requirements. For example, if the user is not sure between buying something red or something black and he selects the two colors, the result will only show the products that have both red and black, but it will not show the products that have only red, nor the products that have only black. But let's go ahead and select the option. Okay. So I can show it to you from the front end. Save filter and save preset. Now let's go to the demo. Okay. Let's filter by two colors. First, I will select red. And here we can see all the products with the red attribute. Now, I will also add the color black. And here, I will see only the products with both red and black at the same time. I will not see the product with only red, nor only black. Now, let's go back to the plugin and switch the option to see the difference. Okay, we're back inside the filter settings. We have the multiple selection enabled, and we have just seen the option end. Let's switch to the option or. I will select it to compare the difference. I save filter, save preset, and let's go back to the demo. Okay, this time we will do exactly the same. First, let's filter red. And once again, we will see all the products with the red attribute. Now, Let's also select 
but and you'll see the difference this time it is showing all the products with only black all the products with only red and also all the products with both black and red now that we have seen these two alternatives let's move on to the next option okay we have just seen the multi-select relation now i want to show you the adaptive filtering maybe you noticed in the previous example when i filter the colors red and black at one point some of the other colors disappeared this happens when this option is selected terms will be hidden this is used when you want to hide options with no available results now let's switch and i will select the other option terms will be visible but not clickable we will see this again from the front end save filter save preset first let's select a category for example accessories now we can see all the colors below but we notice some of them have become opaque and disabled and if i hover over them i cannot click on them this happens because within the accessories category there are products with the colors red brown blue black but for example there are no products with the color green so in fact this color appears opaque and disabled so if the user begins to filter the products for example he selects a certain size of a certain brand in a certain color it is very likely at some point some of the filtering criteria will not be met at this point it is up to you to decide whether to continue showing the options which will appear like this opaque and disabled or you can also go back to the previous option and hide the terms okay let's go back to the other option terms will be hidden and don't forget to save the filter and save preset okay let's filter the accessories category again and this time we can see how all the colors that were opaque and disabled have now disappeared it is only showing the colors that are present in the products this is a nice way of saving the user that feeling of frustration when filtering options without available results of course it is up to you to choose which option works best for your store all you need to do is configure these options in order to provide the best customer experience well guys that was it for today i hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you next time bye bye